Welcome Scribers, my name is Kailoa, today we're back in Inscription Casey's Mod, doing another random run with Gareth's Mod. Challenges today, no hook, fewer items, expensive pelt, boss totems, and upper higher difficulty. And we're going to start with the Skinwalker deck this time. Elephant. Hercules Beetle, ooh. There'd be Swarm. We will do Killer Bee Swarm and Elk Fawn. We need at least some One Bloods to save us here. Ooh. Worthy Sacrifice, yes. I want that Insect Totem head too. Alright. On here. Killer bee swarm. Nice. Three fives and uh, they spawn bees. But I think Leshy's all out of attackers, so we're just gonna have to end this one. Now keep the squirrel. Bone? Piranha. Another, another hungry card. Okay, that's excellent. Killer bee swarm. Well, we'll see how this goes. Oh, the bee doesn't get the boost. That's unfortunate. Skinwalkers. You are annoying, but you start with three offense, and that is acceptable. All right, Pelter card, what do we get today? <gasps> Another killer bee swarm with bunnies. Now I really need to get a cockroach. And all right, elk fawns now with black goat fawn. Excellent. Get that damage in. Ock Roach. Ock Roach. Alpha's good. Bleach. Perfect. And just in case, I'm going to put Alpha onto Elk Fawn. Yeah, so if those who don't know, Skinwalk, yeah, that's what happens. It turns into the card he destroys, so it's the most useless ability there could ever be, truly. Why'd I do that? swarm right it's gotta it's hungry well that worked out the piranha feeds our swarm and the bullfrog goes away and we get a pelt it's just such a so strange it's one of those fights where he's just like I just gotta roll with what happens I <laughs> 
since I'm so unused to hungry that I don't even think about it, and then it's like, boom, here we go. Ooh. I have two more pelts. Just grab these guys. Be done with it. Don't need to get too overboard with this. Curious, how does this work? It just makes us zero one bunny. Ugh. Pig. Its hunger is insatiable. It'll eat and eat until nothing remains. And another skinwalker. Amalgam, buddy. Picking you. Mod cock roach. Badger with Collective movement. That's not too bad, actually. Insect head, hooray! Now those bees can be used as three bloods. Okay, well, at least you get rid of the bee, and we'll block that bullfrog. And then we shall win with our amalgam. Another killer bee swarm. That's okay. Wounded animal. Oh, it, okay, so when it dies, a random card shows up to eat it. Well, now I wish I had that and the ki the other killer bee swarm, so I have unkillable eating bees. I'll grab it anyway, maybe. Maybe we get really lucky. Nope, I still like worthy sacrifice. Venture there. Venture to block. Yes. Hello, Amalgam. You here. And that'll work. Ah, uh, yes. Working just how I want it to work now. Except, of course, we need a cockroach. You know what? We're gonna... We're, we'll do... We'll do phase three now, and we'll do phase two later. Phase two is unkillable. Phase three is more... So, not more, so whatever this is. Ah. Bee swarm. Or elk fawn. Perfect. Hey, Skinwalker. Guess what? You get to turn into a stump. Such a useless ability. I hate it. It's not useless. It's just I cannot find... I don't have it figured out in my head yet how to truly utilize it. Lemming. Fragile and favorite treat among many animals. Oh, he's brittle. And then brings another... Of course. Now if I had a third killer beehive and a cockroach... Hmm. I guess I do actually. What do we have here? Anybody we can 
be better off without. I would say hard to give up a 3-2 for 2. We'll give up Piranha. Alright, so see, now this is where I'm thinking Skinwalker. So you d use him to destroy a bait bucket. He turns into a bait bucket, but also draws in the sharks, and then the shark destroys the Skinwalker bait bucket, and then we just have two sharks face to face. It's a very roundabout way of doing something really horribly dumb. Um, okay, moving Kingfisher. Alright. If we're lucky, we will grab Amalgam here. That's okay. Excellent. So when you go here, devour that skinwalker. Now that's it must be only from combat. But that's okay. If I do get unkillable, then I can just use them as blockers as well. That's unfortunate, though, because then they go to the other side of the board. I don't want that. I want them on my side of the board. Corpse Mag gets on him, though. Guys, immediately gets placed. Let's do make a foolish, foolish decision and try that out. Curious to see what we get. I mean, uh, uh, random ally in the hand. Waterborn Brewing Direwolf Pup. I'll grab the hyena. Alright. Bad decision time. Maybe not, actually. Well, I'm gonna need to have. I'm gonna need to get rid of you at some point here. Not causing problems. Look good for the moment. Badger here. Clean out that row. Get rid of that elk fawn. Badger moves. Still sitting pretty good here. Especially if we get our bees up and running. B for Skinwalker. There we are. I think Blood's the only one we have a chance of not winning. There we go. Fun. You're a good card, but I need to keep the one Bloods down. And I just remembered that Golem is a one blood. There we go. Hmm. Not enough yet. At least though on sacrifice he's still 
gives us a card. Walker. Be three to four. Four. Zero to one and now three to one. A little less happy about this now. We have two candles. We do. Alright, a little less... A little less concerned. No, it doesn't matter, Walt's dead. Unfortunate Skinwalker now is a porcupine. But it's three to one, and I think Leshy should be out of cards. Which is fine by me. Got another bee swarm, but I'm not going to place that anywhere because our current swarm is in the perfect spot. Bloodhound it is. Now, I'd have to get rid of that second killer bee swarm one way or another, so I might as well get a 4-3 swarm. Uh, if we can just get uh whatchamacallit an unkillable totem i will take that an unkillable totem would be better would be just fine blood sigil's health got a lot of health uh, i think blood is still our only option to lose nope Ooh. <laughs> More so, well, yeah. If I had the unkillable insects, I can get that really strong and pass that off. But I'm gonna be a wounded animal. I want my gold. No, I don't want my golem copied. Not a Malcolm. Gotta be killer bee swarm. Fecundity. Excellent. I thought about fecundity as a possibility too. Hmm. Loose tail. Nope. Worthy Sacrifice is still a better option. Nice. This will give us plenty to work with for Phase 2. Bloodhound is over to the side though. What we can do. Skinwalker you. Skinwalker you. I played the wrong card. Oh well. We're still fine. We've got damage. We're blocking that wolf cub. Clearing up some space on our board. Now life is much, much better. Alright, Badger, I need you here. Or even there. 
We can fly over the Bloodhound. Long Nelk, Ejerak. I really wish I had the unkillable bee swarm because I'm gonna have to worry. Ejerak. And. Fan. Perfect. Oh, well, if I had that works, but I wish I had known. Uh, I would have not placed her right away, and I would have put her in slot one there. But here we are. Actually, Bleach at this point does me no good. Well, it could have, but I just kind of want to get this wrapped up. Well, I don't know if it would have been faster doing a Bleach and Fly. I'm not sure. Mirror, I don't need mirror. But give me plenty of duplicating, bunny making, three blood. Yeah, we're, we're good. <laughs> Here, you know what? Another bunny. Another beehive. Oh. There. More bees. Oh, actually, I'm not even going to see what the bees... Well, they can drop random cards. That's what they drop behind, but yes. Lots of tasty, tasty bunnies and bees. And here we are. Another uh, random run with the Garrus mod completed. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. If you have ideas for runs that you'd be interested in seeing, feel free to leave a comment down below. Like and subscribe to see more. And I will catch you later in the next episode.